guys, it's me, Lil Bay E23, and today we are playing some Black Ops 3 Nightmares. And um, so I'm playing with a friend. Um, my brother. Playing with my, playing with my brother. Find out what you knew. And uh, so we're playing some zombies on uh, um, campaign. Humanity's last hope. So I was thinking that I would not talk in and when they're when they're talking in the video or playing music, but then there'll, be, there'll barely be any what's my call a voice in it. It'll just be boring talk that no one wants to hear. So yeah, um, I have nothing else because it's it's kind of hard to come up with stuff to say. All right, put on another mosquito. Hold up. Um. Undead. It all came back to Deimos. Deimos is like the demigod, I think. Deimos is like a demigod, I think. The idea his friends betrayed mankind to help a demigod. The concept alone was insane, let alone his friends' involvement. Kane was in it to the end. Um. So now she was as obsessed with stopping Deimos as we were. So I guess. We weren't ready for Kyle. Um, this is this. You guys can skip five minutes into this video. So you guys can actually see gameplay. But this is all walking. On Earth. This is all walking. This was it. It wasn't just. So yeah. Two. Um. The entirety of Northern Africa had fallen to the undead. The walls were covered so yeah. with memories of the dead. Those taken by 6115. Lost to this wasteland. The desert. So end. it was the last place. Just killed a mosquito. Be, but you chose to hide. So him. yeah. Why? For that very um. I'm gonna go interrogate no someone this in this, this gameplay, guys. Let me go what interrogate someone. See what he knows. Demos. Yeah. Helio was waiting. I feel like this story all revolves around Demos. Demos. It actually does, cause he's an enemy god. He created the zombies and everything. Normal. Blah 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 blah. The Odin one for grabbing you. More than a few men did so, to bring you in. He hoped it was worth it. I mean, I'm I'm just he was tired. Tired of fighting a losing battle. Man was a realist. If I was fighting a losing battle, I won't even fight. Like, if I knew I was gonna lose and what Well, I actually wouldn't extinction. give up. Like here's the thing. Yu-Gi-Oh! Never give everything. up. You know, you know, if, if anyone watch Yu-Gi-Oh, you guys know you never give up. The damage done by the dead. So yeah. Count what the water wars did. The continent dried up and the Nile River. Dang, if I had a fight, uh, which we call it, enemy that didn't need water. Man. It was so busy fighting. All the odds are on their favor. On the, on the what we call the zombies' favor. You know what I love? I'm at top screen. My brother's the bottom screen. But I look at the top screen, my arms in the Kane in the way of the picture, like place. what? It wasn't personal. I don't know how my arms in the picture, you guys see that? Just barely holding on. Like how I can just see my arm in the corner. Speaking to me. Um I walked ahead how to stop and I'm trying to find like the the interrogation room. So the whole base was on edge. You could yeah. feel it in the air. The dead were moving on Ramses. An assault was imminent. Khalil didn't um, know me and my brother are both girls in this in this gameplay. Why we weren't because we have to be, have to be um, girls. To his anger. WA command so. is down. How was he meant to get his message through? Man, they lost a couple men for us. Wow, they used to knock it's a video game. I don't care. I, they were used I just want my stuff. If any came too close, the laser cannon <laughs> would take them out. Dang. Khalil led us to interrogation. He warned us our time was limited. Well, but then, then he better start talking. But if we could get answers, they must better start talking. Maybe we could find a way to fight back. Hey, if I was in the interrogation room and I w and I was not that guy that's being interrogated, if I was the guy that's inter interrogating him you or the girl, happy to see us. if he wasn't talking, I would punch him five times no time, we... in the face till he talks. It's a, zo it's a war. It's a, in zombies. Make him talk. Gotta get the stuff out of him. So here's the next clip. 
Um, this is where we get to fight. The assault so, yeah. The was beginning. The base was about to be overrun. Um. Wait, this is where I pick up the Man of War. Man of War is a pretty good gun. I'm not gonna lie, here's why I like it. Has a lot of ammo. Does not have a lot of fire rate. So I can, I can conserve the ammo. Does a lot of damage, so it kills fast. And, um. It's a lightweight weapon. And it's just a, I just like it in general. So I told her to come over here because there's a man of war under me. I told her to come over there. Come up to where I am. And I told her to the man of war because I told her I told her it was the best gun in the game and the nightmares. Multiplayer? Multiplayer? Uh no. Multiplayer it's pretty good, but not the best gun. I use a K on fast fire rate and fast and hard damage. So I can get the bullets in. I know it's not, it doesn't have a lot of ammo, but I'm gonna die, so either way. I can always get scavenger. Zombies. Only lasted around 20. Campaign? Yeah, campaign and mineral war is good. I can't argue with that. So, yeah. Um, he's pretty new to this game. And he doesn't like this kind of zombies. He likes to play actual zombies. So yeah. Um, as you can see, we're just you know running around trying to trying to kill some zombies. She almost got trapped. She um he almost got trapped again. And so I keep getting my brother mixed up with the character because the characters are she. And but then he's a he, and I'm like, I keep, I keep getting the, them two kids just to confused. So, <laughs> so um, this is where my brother revives me. And get, get, he gives me like a, what should we call it? Um, he owes me one. There, and I got some more collectibles. So. We yeah, the I didn't know what that know did, so I was, I was gonna punch him in the back and see what happened. But yeah, I'm on a top screen and he's on a bottom screen. At the end of the day, it didn't matter. Egyptian army came and over the yeah, they'd never seen a horde this size move on the station. If we had any chance mm. to stop them, we needed to reinforce the eastern checkpoint. I um. The dead would need so to reach Ramses. we're approaching the end. I'm just gonna talk for a little bit. So, she was a um, there's gonna be a second part to this. So, yeah, you guys can watch that when it comes out. It's not out yet, and it might not be out yet. It depends on what time you're watching this. But yeah, I guess they lose the city. I really don't know. Uh, I don't. This is the ending. I don't know what to say. And yeah. It's kind of hard to talk about stuff because there's like little thing to talk about. But yeah. So, um, check the next clip to see like um our actual battles. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And for this last minute, I will not talk. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, like the video, comment, join the notification squad, what and I'll see you, you guys later. The undead were moving on the eastern checkpoint. A clear shot at Ramsey Station. The Egyptian army had rigged explosives below the street, but there were a few support columns we would need to take out first. We had the spike launcher for that. You talked of his desperation, his total acknowledgement of futility. Yet here he was, staying, staying, and fighting. What else was he going to do? If it wasn't today, it was tomorrow. Or the day after that. We lost the war. The moment Diaz opened the quarantine zones, the moment Deimos entered our dimension, one way or another, death was coming for us all. But while we still could, we would fight. And right now, we had a check.